This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and the lock I have for you today is this Master Armored Shutter Lock. It was sent to me by YouTube user BlackDolphin90 soon after he saw my video number 303 featuring this Master Lock, model 680D. And if you saw that video, you know I was pretty disappointed with the lock for two main reasons. The first was the core. It was filled with secure, I'm sorry, with standard pens, and we usually like to see a little more effort on a lock like this, which is made for slightly higher security applications. The second was the body of the padlock. Underneath the armor, this has what felt to be a cast zinc core, and possibly even a hollow one. It's a very light lock, and zinc is not a very good material to make a padlock out of. Usually locks like this, and they're very common in Europe, have brass bodies. So the question is, did we do any better with what I believe to be the older version of the same lock? Before we get into that, let me note the obvious difference in format. We have a W format lock here and the U format over here. The W format's a little bit better for when you're locking up two ends of a chain. It makes it a little bit snugger a fit, makes it harder to get at the shackle. Obviously, you're not going to get at it with bolt cutters, but with this W format, you might not even be able to get at that with a saw. So it's a very secure format, so it's definitely a feature I like to see on these locks. Next issue, the body. In this padlock, if we can zoom in, hopefully you'll be able to see that on the video can see that we do have a brass body and I'll tell you this lock is much much heavier than the 680D I previously featured. I put them on the scale and this one is just shy of a pound heavier even though they look very very similar. Finally let's get to the core. This one was filled with standard pins so let's see if the lock that Black Dolphin 90 sent me is any better. We have a pretty open keyway you can see probably fit a 50 thousandths pry bar in the top of that keyway and I'll probably use a standard hook in 25 thousandths. Okay let's see what we got. Okay one is binding. Felt pretty rough in there. Two click there. Three is loose. Four is loose. Five is loose. Okay one again. And I might not have gotten him all the way. Let's see. There we go. One just put us into a false set. Nothing on two. Three. Okay, little counter rotation. We got three set. Four. Little counter rotation got him set. Five. Counter rotation and we open the lock up. So I have, what was that? Probably at least three, maybe four spools in there. So clearly a little bit more effort on this older lock. So the question is, which one's better? Obviously it's the older one. It's better built, made with better materials. Love to see that it's made out of brass. I just have one problem with it. And what I did when I was looking at this lock is I took out my smallest security chain and it's one that has nine and a half millimeter lengths and look at this they don't fit the best you can fit into this is eight millimeter chain lengths which is a little bit on the small side it's probably something that you'll be able to cut open with a with a pair of bolt cutters or something like that so master lock they seem to do a pretty nice job on here but they just messed up in one pretty important area and that's the fact that this can't accommodate a chain that would be of equal or comparable security to the lock itself so a little bit of a problem with it but definitely head over heels better than the 680d i reviewed in video 303. So, Black Dolphin 90, thank you very much for sending this lock my way. To everyone else, if you have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.